Hello and welcome to Ace Attorney. Today, me, Rose, and John Doe are going to be playing um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. <gasps> Blood. I can't believe you, you don't even know game. how to play Ace oh. Attorney. <sighs> Blood! Oh. It's Chef Boyardee. It's pasta sauce. Don't worry, it's advertiser friendly. Dang it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. Oh my god, I know who I, that is. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. He's a murder man. Boy, I'm nervous. Right. Oh, <laughs> hi, a chief. <sighs> I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot. Well, you know you. me, Mr. And your client as well. Mr. Phoenix, right? Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. That's oh, it's too. over. <laughs> my life, everything, it's all over. Oh, right, figure huh? out this guy. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> you know, Mr. <laughs> Screams McGames. Death, despair, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> what? <laughs> it sounds like he wants to die. Uh, nah, nah, he's just Mr. Death's my die, man. <laughs> hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell <laughs> them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I'm, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Why are you crying milk? <laughs> oh, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Hmm. Uh, if this guy heard don't cry yeah. over spilt milk and didn't hear part of that sentence. Well, you know, uh, when something's... Call the butts. <laughs> hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspaper says it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Ace Attorney Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. Yeah, but just simple stuff, you know. Just, yeah, the guy they arrested. things! The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> but in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. When something smells, One thing it's probably I can't say, a, a though, rum. <laughs> it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. <laughs> I can cry milk. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. And he wouldn't kill anyone. Nah. Not intentionally. <laughs> that and I own one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this really good. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Oh my god, sounds like Dr. Kleiner. I mean, he looks the, like uh, Dr. Kleiner. Defense is ready, Your Honor. It's true. It's me, <laughs> Feek's attorney at Daniel Wright. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Yeah, we your do. Conduct 
during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you can control your nerves. Th thank you, Your Honor. John? Oh god, sorry, I died for a second. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to a ascertain your readiness. I think it's pronounced ascertain. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Hands shaking, eyesight fading. <laughs> Man, I need brain fogging, um, heartbeat racing, <laughs> skin like while dying. blood draining, <laughs> dies. I'm gonna die. Sister, a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely, or you will die. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Clearly. Uh. Defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. Great job! Oh, wow. Next question, Colin. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Phew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times, because, you know, that's what attorneys do. It's, uh, uh-oh. I'm dying again. No, no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, I'm gonna die are you now. absolutely sure you're up to this? Yeah, you don't even know the victim's name. Oh, oh the victim? Of, of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Dies. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court for record. That. Just press tab to check it at any time. Tab Remember to life. check it often. Do it for uh, me, please. I'm begging you. You suck <laughs> so bad, right? <laughs> the name is Cindy Stone. Correct. <laughs> now tell me, what was the cause of death? Right. Honor. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You're flatlining again. <laughs> she was struck once with a blunt object. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we should proceed. Can we get- can I'm we get dead a... in the courtroom. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you as you're dying and having <laughs> a- you have, being pulled well, out I mean, on all of his muscles a... did I'm relax. Dying. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, uh, let's get a medic on standby, Jesus Christ. First, a question for the prosecution, I was a Mr. doctor Kane. back in, uh, 1842, I think. <laughs> Did you fight with a flintlock pistol? No, I fought with a rock Bitch. like every other caveman. <laughs> yes, your honor. Yeah, he did. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that quote object unquote was? Uh, the murder weapon was this was... statue of the thinker. Yeah. It was lying on the floor next to the victim. I see, the court accepts it into evidence. A statue right. of the cringer. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That yeah, evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Guns now in eat your applesauce. Apple <laughs> Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? I'm really confused. Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. I just wanted to go <laughs> You'll to get McDonald's your chance to, to respond to the nuggets. prosecution later, so be ready. No, uh, I just, just want. hope he doesn't just say wanna, anything I unfortunate. Uh, oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Uh, look at this guy. A him, Mr. Butts. Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. And Brooklyn all of a sudden. Um, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumb. She was just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. Why am I scout all of a sudden? I don't understand. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what the kids today mean by, uh, quote, dumped, unquote. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your well, honor, calm down. the victim's passport. According passport? to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Gordon. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. 
Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several <clears throat> sugar daddies. Ah, daddies, sugar. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly Stone. see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Best. What do you think of her now? She's a, right. she's a good looking. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way with running his mouth in all the wrong directions. <laughs> Might be better not getting involved with this one. Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, no way. That cheating <laughs> shit. We all bitch. know what that means. We all know that what that cheating means. Cheating bitch. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. He said, yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. But the text the went by automatically. When I die, I'm just gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Let's continue with the trial, goddammit. I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good, my dudes. Well, fellas. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Ooh. Well, did you? Or did you not, you stupid buffoon? Just answer the goddamn question, you dingus! Just. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. Uh oh, you went. Bitch of happy customer. Why did I say customer? <laughs> Mr. Ass. I know. Please, I'll please send him a signal. Tell the truth. Imagine him just like doing all of this. Yeah, I was there. I went, I went there. And I murdered her in the Oh, yeah, yeah, he went. You hear? Yeah, he went. Well, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She was at home, man, so, like, I didn't see her, man. Objection! Your Honor, Jesus. the defendant is lying. Why does he sound like that? Why? I don't know why he sounds like Objection. that. Objection! She sounds like a fucking Objection. girl. Sounds like a toad it's for Mario. Sounds like a, the toad after he went crack. Anyway, lying. judges, I've prosecution never... would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call the witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. No. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Sawit. Oh, look at this suck Saw up. It. Mr. Sawit. You sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspaper. Yes. Mr. Sawit, please proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Well, I was see, going I door to door it. selling oh. subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind me. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment and I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and thought myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was uh, 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment walking? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. What? Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. Mm. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Miss Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Man, this guy sure does have a lot of evidence. I just keep a bag full of this crud. No, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. <laughs> cross-examination, Your Honor. All oh, right, right. Oh, this is it, the real oh, deal. How do you do that again, Mia? Why, um, what you exactly exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, you, uh, right? He, oh, then God, that no, witness that must murdered. have lied in his testimony. <laughs> or is your client really guilty? I 
he clearly guilty? He, he, yeah, he is. He's definitely yeah. guilty. He did every crime. No. How do I prove you he's know, not? if something's a crime, it was usually the butts who did it. Larry, <laughs> you hold Larry. the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony yeah, yeah. to the evidence. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Oh, so uh, give me a second. Someone's okay. Here. Open the court record with tab, then point out contradictions in the testimony. Hold it. The phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no. No, it wasn't, right? But you said you didn't go into the apartment, or... Did you? Cause you're oh, the oh, murderer. Oh, uh, that. I can explain that. There was a cordless sure phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call, and that phone wasn't working. Correct. What happened next? 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m. The blackout time? Right. Doesn't that seem Did strange that... to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Autopsy report. Oh! I remember exactly what to do. You found the body at 1 p.m. Are you sure about that? Mm. <laughs> yes. It was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly will contradict contradicts the autopsy report the auto spy report autopsy. the auto spy notes the time of death the autopsy at sometime at autopsy <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like the, it's just like the robot spy model from man versus machine the autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m oh there God, was nobody to hurt no body to find at 1 p.m am i right fellas <laughs> <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap, Mr. Sawit? Uh, Mr. oh, that? Did it? Oh, er... Uh... Attention! This is trivia! I read this man and forgot the time! After this testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain you found that body in one view? I, er, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> G Good, great job, right? Answer. Way to put him on the spot. The answer. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always begin more than the see through one, and their whole story falls apart. Mm. Wait, I remember now. <laughs> Would you care to give your testimony again? You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Are you that stupid? See, as you oh can my see, God. Sonic the Hedgehog is obviously fake. Hmm, I see. You what? hear a no, voice. Sonic's real. Hmm, I see. You hear a voice saying that I'm on a taped program. <laughs> Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the the witness. Uh, John, heavy. try to keep one voice for a character <laughs> challenge. Impossible. <laughs> right. I'm heavy T. You know two. what to do. I've got this one. <gasps> Hold it right there. The prosecution, prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. Yeah, you dumbass. <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. You must be fucking garbage. I, well, er. <laughs> the fence has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Solent? Uh, no, I I find it quite puzzling myself. Uh, quiet. Uh, well, you're just gonna pass ah, it off as magic? W wait, I remember now. <laughs> Mr. Solent? <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an accurate <laughs> testimony from very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. And you're rather distraught. Uh, oh, fucking my apologies, Your Honor. It, er, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Let's hear your testimony one more time, please. This time, no fucking lies. I That's where lies Actually, go. I didn't hear it the time. I saw it. 
just like my name, you see. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Ah, uh, you saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The fence may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Hello, my name is Spy, TF2. My favorite class is the Spy. Hello, I'm Gabe Newell, and my favorite it's class is the Spy. Just a moment! Holy the man. murder weapon wasn't a clock. It what? was this! You. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What is that black bar what? supposed to tell the you time? You with your objections <laughs> and your evidence. Just what do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Solomon. Hey, Bro. I, I saw it there. Okay, that's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Fan. You may not. As the witness stated. This statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. Oh. So the murder whip was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. I, I appears the witness testimony was correct. This right here uh is what you little americans call a timepiece do you have any problems with this testimony now i'm now scottish do not judge me your hey. honor there is a gaping hole in the witness testimony and i'm not talking about the hole bludgeoned into her head the only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand yeah the witness testified that he never entered the apart clearly a contradiction indeed beat knew the victim he, he was great friends with played. the victim knew her since 1943 Demo, you're lying because you were inside the apartment on the day of the murder oh yeah prove it prove i went in there I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her! You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard! Oh, in the pump and courtroom! Intriguing! Please continue, Mr. Ra right Yes, Your Honor. Logic. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain. Time. Objection! W what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture! Baseless? Drop Just the piece. look Ow. at the witness's face! Just look at his beautiful <laughs> face! <laughs> Making murder oh, noise. The witness anger. can't say elaborate. Did you strike the victim with the clock? Why the f*** would you say yes I, to that? I, that, that day, I, I never, look, I, the clock, no, I heard no. Yeah. Yeah. A fucking heart attack and oh my he ripped it off I told Shut up shut up shut up shut up I hate you He ripped the it, shoe paint That was him I tell you I saw him He he killed her and he he should burn burn give him death Order in the goddamn court I say Oh Your Honor a moment, please. He's, he's piercing your shred of evidence supporting the defense's claim. He's scared that he's gonna get bad Yelp review from this client. Mr. Roy! Your Honor? Can you claim the sound of the witness came from the clock? I teleported bread. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. I better think it through carefully. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. Look, I'll touch it with my fingers to play the sound. A fact, which is clear if you simply... Let's sound the clock now, here, in this very court, right now, at 3 a.m. Your Honor, it's 10 may I have the clock? It's 10 p.m., you dingus. I ask the court to listen carefully. Holy shit. Beep. Beep. 
Beep. I think it's eight he looks twenty-five. So ugly. That certainly is strange. It's a strange way to announce the time. Well, what? he is the thinker after all. Get out. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what the time is now? It's 11.25. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sowit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sowit, seething in rage, look at you. You look like a f***ing monkey. Try to talk your way out of this one, monkey man. Banana. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Really Uh-oh. What is he talking about now? Well, it may seem like that clock, clock is running today. three hours slow. <laughs> it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? Well, you don't can't like prove two that. Ago. You don't have a case. He's right. How am I gonna prove that? Hello, Bear. I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems like the green glue is. He's dying. He's yes, just Your dead. Honor. They you indicate, uh, indicate the witness. Unfortunately, Brains. This ends the cross examination of Mr. Frank Brains. Mr. Frank, come oh, all the way down Thank here to honor. testify, and look what happens. He you treat good. me like a criminal. A criminal. You, you are a liar. You are all slime. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Oh, me. There's nothing I can do about it now that I failed you. But. Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. <laughs> Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, Ryan. Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. My career as an ace attorney. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. And if um, no one can, well, then I sure yes. can't. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask ah. yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Mm -hmm. Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Wait! Is that a Maybe I can prove say? it. I don't know you must have it. evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it, and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was on. Slow on the day of the murder. Have <laughs> <laughs> you found evidence for the claim? There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. And it is. Oh god, uh, Frank uh, saw what's voice gave me heartburn. Dude, do it. have you tried doing the fucking <laughs> judge zombie Don't worry. voice? Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see what this evidence that proves why the clock is running slow. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Take that. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. We all know the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That That's why the time so heard when you struck her dead and her apartment was wrong. You know who else is wrong? You! You're wrong! Proof My enough mom. for you, Mr. Sowit? Or should I say, Mr. Did it? <laughs> 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 Does he like foam in the mouth and fucking die here? Yeah, he did! He's dead! Oh, 
o order I He's say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all fucking expected. Well, oh. it's about how I expected it to go. You, your witness, well, my yes, voice. Sir. Oh, shit. He was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Why are you pissing yourself in the courtroom, Mr. Payne? He's been just pissing, Mr. Wright. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. That's me, right? John. I have to say I'm impressed. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. Yeah. I find the true yeah. culprit at the same shot. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but I say you're an ace attorney. This court finds <laughs> the defendant, Mr. Larry Bass, not, not guilty. Not guilty. Whoa. There's just confetti <laughs> raining from the heaven. Yeah. And with that, this yeah. court is goddamn adjourned. What? It turns out that Frank saw it was a common borgalore. He posed as a newspaper salon to check and see when people were out of the house. That day... He killed somebody. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim was not home. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Stawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Phew. I still can't believe we want, do I? Good job in there. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I had no clue what the fuck I was doing at all. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not you at all, not at all. You fought your own battles. You really don't know what you're doing. You really just forgot oh, to bring your keyboard. I've seen I a did. trial end on such a satisfying note. Yeah, you forgot <laughs> to bring your keyboard. That's the first the chief looking this app. If she is this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick, uh, don't worry about it, me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, no, I mean, bad, bad. Bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But my Cindy Windy's gone forever, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Uh, never mind. She, she, she was a cheat. Congratulations, she dog. Harry. Harry! Yes, you. <laughs> Harry Butts and Headlines says... now. Harry Butts. Innocent. Harry Butts. Harry Thanks, Butts. I really owe you one. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Take this, it's a present. A present? For me? Wait. This Why is she did that... all the shit? I'm the one who did the dirty work. Wait, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and for me. R really? You... You made this? No. Nope. Well, I, I you. just, you know, bought one for the dollar store. Yo, Nick, what the f*** does that mean? <laughs> I was so into that chick and she, she was just playing me for a fool. Don't think that. Does that just make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry, stop fucking crying, Will. You're gonna get it on the damn floor. Then those security guards back there are gonna cry because they don't know the rules around here. Don't cry or spill milk. Hi. I'm so sure. Excuse me. <laughs> I think she I thought quite a lot her. of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize me, it's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really. Isn't that right, right? Oh. Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about it? No. No, I don't. She she never really loved him. <laughs> Check positive. this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Oh, what about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Well, but she probably just needed a clock, that's all. Why do I have a ooh face right now? You think oh, so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well... Make of it what you will. Exactly. Hey, Nick. Well, I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Well, I hope that made him feel a little better. Right? Yes. He was I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself, right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Oh, Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so.
am going to go get a, a Sunday for we'll delivery a service. To innocent butts. Yeah. Oh, speaking of him, you're saying part of why you Larry. became a liar is because of him. Er, yeah, part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Um, I only drink justice. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I only drink I justice. Only... And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, And she it's so good to be friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, well, unless you count the clock he gave me. Yeah, I didn't know it then. But th that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident, and my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep, cause... She went to Six Flags without me. Well, anyway, that's about all the time we have for hour. this episode of Ace Attorney. Hopefully you liked it. Bye.